Okay guys, so I haven't done a Minecraft update in about like a month or so, so this update isn't going to be on a specific build. I feel like I'll just go over a general um, what's been done so far across like all of the uh, builds so far because I feel like if I did it on a specific build, it'd be way too short and kind of a waste of time. So instead I'm just going to go across each of the builds, show what's been done, what hasn't been done kind of thing, and uh, one build in particular has been updated quite a bit. Another build has been updated on its outside quite a bit, and the other build has been kind of worked on. I'm still working on it bit by bit. Um, I'm just kind of more into the other two builds at the moment because I promised I'd be working on those a lot. And since the other build that I'm barely working on, I kind of finished a major section of it completely in like a day. Um, that one's getting like the least attention only because it got a lot of attention for like a day straight. So that's just kind of the things are working out. So to get into it real quick, we'll start with Angel Island, which is the one we were just talking about, the one that's been lesser e touched on. But nonetheless, we have started building some inside part, or at least like the groundwork for the inside of Eggman's tower base. I said I was going to be working on that. I haven't finished the dimensions yet, but I'm getting back to working on the entrance layer. Then when you come in, when you work on the you come in from the tower. I didn't even realize the bed was up there. I didn't need a bed there, I guess. Okay. Um, we'll eventually, you know, go down to where you fight Gamma, and then over in the corner will be the final um, egg entrance. And then I worked a little bit on layering the bottom part for the Mystic Ruins here. Uh, that's the part I've barely kind of worked on, though. I got a layer done of the six here around the whole thing, but that's about it. But that's because I had all of this is done so far, so I mean, I've kind of touched on this less because it has a lot done, I have the bridge done, I have the skeleton for the tower started. Um, there's not too much to show there, right? So, this is still getting worked on, I'm definitely going to be doing this soon. As you see, I've started the floor work, I haven't, like I said, finished it yet, but it's all coming still. We just haven't gotten there yet, that's all. So that's what that looks like. The next place we're going to go to is the Space Colony Arc, as a matter of fact. I don't know where I am in the arc. Yes, here we go. Okay, so inside of the arc, I've worked a little bit more on the capsule room and the core. The capsule room, not so much. Or not the capsule room, control room, central control room. Not too terribly much. I plan to do a lot more in this room, but I have like what the base down for it so I can work off of that. I'm starting to build like the bottomless pit looking, you know, how it kind of looks like a bottomless pit. But I can only do so much because like my old build, this part actually builds into the top of the core of the arc, the beating part that was above the shrine, which is the actual core. But speaking of the shrine, the shrine is done. I started working around it. I'm using orange block for like the water for now until I decide if I'm going to actually just go back and put actual water in there. But I do have like the back wall of the core room done that's eventually going to go here, which is where you fought the bio lizard and all that stuff. That's coming. I'm not quite done with that yet though, but I've started working on that. I've gotten this far. But in terms of the arc itself, I actually have something else done on the outside. This is the build I was talking about where I said something on the outside has been done. And that would be this. I have all of the blue hanging towers done on the space on the arc right now. Um, for clarification, you couldn't really see these very well in cutscenes that showed the entire mass of the arc, like when the eclipse, ca when the eclipse cannon would be firing, or as such like that. But when you're doing levels and going across platforms and stuff, you saw these things quite often, which were the just blue hanging towers that had like the different lights. I use glowstone, so at night it's lighter, so they don't have a lot of light otherwise. But these are usually like yellow, yellow and black patterns within the dark blue hanging towers, with like the red on the bottom sometimes, which I use torch light or torches to make it light up as well. Um, you saw these prominently, especially like in Meteor Herd or Mad Space when you take a rocket up to the arc. You'd climb on these at some point too to get way up there at the top, you know? So that's what these are supposed to represent. These are also like a light source, so when I start making platforms, I can have a way to see when it hits to be nighttime. Um, that's really it for the arc at the moment. I'm gonna finish the core room soon enough, and then eventually I'll have a video based on that by itself. But that's what I have for that so far. I have nothing else in this world done though, it's really just about the arc right now. So we're gonna jump into the final world that I showed you a while ago, which was the volcano. 
And I'm actually going to start with the volcano. With the volcano, I have... Let's just see if we can get down there quickly. I started building the walls of the volcano. Yes. So I started building the outline shape of what the thin part of the volcano is going to be. And what I mean by thin part of the volcano is the initial walls of the volcano are going to make it look kind of really um, cylinder and cone-like and not very thick. But then there's going to be like rocky parts that go on the outside of these walls to make it more volcano-like. So that's not exactly what the volcano is going to look like. That's why I didn't really call it a skeleton. It's a skeleton of the inside. It's not a skeleton of the whole thing. And there's one more thing I did finish um, inside the library part, which I realized the lava is slowly burning away at the library, whether I'm present or not. So it turns out a lot more of the library has been burned away, as you can see here, um, unfortunately. But this is a back chamber where ember is actually stored in right now at the moment. Um, I decided to just be different with these walls, kind of put like a different pattern and stuff. Experiment a little bit with what different blocks look like that I still don't know what they really are or do. So that's what that is. Um, nothing too much outside of that though. But the main thing that actually got finished in this world, which is the one I've been spending a lot of time in, in is way up here actually. It hasn't finished generating it looks like. But if you recall, the top of the volcano used to be used to be a mountain, first of all. And it's a volcano because the top was removed. It used to be a temple, which under the temple used to be like a laboratory. And those got separated. And so now, if we go up here, I actually have the main temple done. Not the inside, but the outside done, actually, of the Aditum. And it's pretty massive, yeah. And what these are is because if you remember the description of it, it's actually a series of temples. The main temple is just the biggest, but the, these all will connect to actually temples out there as well. There are smaller temples that all um, focus on the main temple. And this is kind of like, I want to say it's kind of like a landing way, or like just to signify what the front is. So I put this here. You can land here. You can go inside. Now inside, like I said, is not done at all. Inside the main tower just leads to the different floors. And the lab, which is also not done, kind of looks something like this at the moment though. Um, eventually these will lead to pathways that lead directly under those bridges so you can get to the other temples from the inside as well. But this is what the inside looks like right now. It's not done, there's not a lot to it right now. But down here is what's the, it's, it's the engine, which is what's using, what is being used to keep the temple afloat. Why can I word today? I don't know. But anyway, that's what this is about. Uh, this will eventually build into a bigger engine, which will build into the core. Um, but otherwise, it's also pretty empty in here too. The temple's pretty empty. But this is what I've been majorly working on because when I did the last video on the volcano, this didn't even exist, as a matter of fact. So been, I did a, a lot of work over the course of a day on this, and we got quite a bit done, but there's still quite a bit more to do. There will eventually be entryways to get to these levels from inside the temple as well. Up here is kind of like a nest area. You come up here, it's kind of like a lookout, you know what I mean? Um, and there's not too much else done besides this. As for this grass, real quick, there isn't a lighter. I wanted green and like slightly dark green or like lime green and regular green. But they don't really have that. They have the, the lighter green and then this kind of really dark green. I was trying to emulate like in the older Sonic games the pattern that some of the green hill stages and stuff had like that. So that's what that's about, by the way. That's that's grass, and I didn't want to use the dirt blocks. I didn't want it to be grass on top, but like dirt below that leads into this stuff. I guess I could have went that route. I might later on. It's not above being edited. Um, but anyway, that's why there's a pillar of lava also coming up down there. Because if you also remember the story, it used to connect to the volcano because the volcano's lava used to feed the engine, so that the temple could be. The temple was a giant time traveling machine in basic terms. So that's what that's about. Um, and that's really it. I figured an update was kind of necessary. It's been a month and I don't have anything solid to put out by itself. So I thought I'd go over everything. Now, I did start streaming as a matter of fact. And on a stream a couple weeks ago, streaming on Twitch that is. On a stream a couple, which, uh, couple of streams ago, I got called out actually for not building fish bones. Um, Jinx's rocket launcher in League of Legends. So eventually that will be a build down the road also. I might actually do that because it shouldn't take a long time to build that in particular. I might do that to somewhat stop the bleeding because that will be a quick build I can put out by itself. 
because none of these are really going to be done to update status for quite some time, especially heading into Thanksgiving and stuff. I do have a lot of extra time, but right now my attention is kind of divided amongst all three builds. Instead of focusing on one a lot, I've kind of been focusing on all three and not really getting anything done. So that might be what comes next because that one will take like less than a day to build. Um, but we'll see. I don't know for sure. I might focus on one build after all and have a video out of a build specifically by the time all things are said and done. I might have all four, this, this, that, and the rocket launcher as a matter of fact, done. And I mean like a giant version of the rocket launcher by the way, not like a three blocks across and I can just call it <laughs> the rocket launcher. It's going to be big, a big version, but it still shouldn't take too long. I've drawn it enough times, I know how to do it. But anyway, this was an update to give you a uh, where we are kind of progress since I lost all my old worlds uh, what it looks like building some of these back and this is where we are so far so these will be done I might be able to get one of them done maybe before the end of the new year who knows if I focus down on one probably looking at the arc would be the closest one maybe the maybe this temple actually because the side temples are even smaller than this and I finished this in roughly a day and a half so it shouldn't take too long actually to finish at least the outside of this temple the volcano maybe more time because for some reason I get lazy by the time I start building all this up, it's only why two of these are built. Excuses, I know. But anyway, that's what it looks like across the three builds so far. There's the fourth build coming, but all in all, that is everything for now. I'm still working on these as we speak too, so once I, like, I sign off this video, I'm probably going to get back to work on one of them. So with that said, uh, thank you for watching if you watch. Hopefully you have a good day, and we'll see you next time when I build something i don't know we'll see of course but there will be something before at least there'll be something before the end of the new year i can guarantee that i don't know what but there will be something so with that said thanks for watching